Two points I left out. This plan, of course, is very good for New York, but it's very much needed from one end of America to the other. The whole country is hurting. This is a crisis. We must step up to the plate. Uh, President Biden has stepped up. President-elect Biden has stepped up to that plate. And when I become majority leader, which will be on Wednesday, I'll be able to help him get this plan done, and I'll be able to, working with Senator Gillibrand and the New York delegation, uh, help New York get the help it needs. Okay? Now, I have my uh, — I'm going to just read a statement — or not read it, but talk about a statement on appointments. As I mentioned, we have the greatest health care crisis in 100 years, the greatest economic crisis in 75 years, and of course we all saw what happened at the Capitol on January 6th. So we're facing large national and homeland security challenges. We need people in office quickly. And I would hope that our Republican colleagues would join us in putting Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Homeland Security, Secretary of State, Attorney General, and others in office ASAP. Given the crises in this country, we cannot wait. And when President Trump was president, on the first day both defense and homeland security were put into office, uh, we Democrats uh, supported that happening. Uh, we, need the, we need cooperation. I hope we'll get it because the needs are very important. Okay? Questions first on what Senator Gillibrand and I talked about on the rescue plan. You have a majority or a majority that you don't have a veto by a filibuster supermajority. How worried are you about getting this all back? Well, we hope we can get bipartisan support for this plan. President elect Biden has suggested that. But this plan is very, very important, and we have to get it passed one way or the other. On, on appointments, uh, the president elect has said he wants to bifurcate things regarding impeachment and other matters. How possible do you think that is? Well, I hope we can do that, and um, that is, uh, I would agree that that is important. And we're hoping, we're working with our Republican colleagues to try and come up with a bifurcated plan. You need uh, more or less unanimous agreement to do it. No, I don't. Okay. Uh, if I could just ask almost a, a reflective of that question. Uh, you're becoming Senate Majority Leader. It's been, you know, for 45 years, you've been the first elected in Brooklyn, uh, the state assembly seat. What does it mean to you and, and your journey? Well, it's a tremendous responsibility. And there's so many things we have to do to make this country better. Um, we have to recover from all of the detritus that the Trump administration has left. But even more important than that, we have to recover from the COVID crisis and then move America forward so that every working person, every family, every person in America feels they have a real chance to advance. That has been, that feeling hasn't been very strong in the American people over the last while, and we must do everything we can uh, in our power to restore it. Well, I'm glad Joe Biden's in the White House uh, either way, <laughs> and, but the bottom line is I will, as majority leader, I'll try to help him get his agenda done. Okay? Like one, um, one, 